Hello guys, this is Botelli from the editing and I'm here to tell that I have captions in this video in Portuguese and in English, but this original vi video is actually two hours long. This is one of the parts that I'm editing right now and this is one of the parts. The other parts will be on the descriptions or and the original is gonna be on the description. So check it out. Anyways, let's go for the video. Hello, if you're seeing this at uh, some point in YouTube that means is I decided to do something with this but I'm actually gonna try to explain how is playing DACA of course as a free-to-play player and also for every single brand new uh, player uh, so that you can understand how this game kind of works anyways um, if you click here, that means is you're playing Dokken already. You already have downloaded Dokken and you have a couple questions. Okay, now let's go to the actual game for you guys. Oh, for some reason. Okay, anyways, let's go to the actual game for you guys. Um, This is the start page. Actually, the start page would look a little different, but doesn't matter. Um... In the background, that's the, the banner you can customize. You can get these banners. Multi, there are multiple banners you can get. We are we just got a brand new one. This is a kind of old one that we have. And I love this one. Anyways. Uh, gifted. It's where you daily uh, things comes in together. So that you can get uh, rewards and stuff like that. For login. Right? And there is a lot of information in this in this front so let's start from the top to bottom because i feel like it's easier so on the corner there is your rank yes my rank is not that high i know okay chill anyways um the experience bar you hit that bar at the end you you rank up it's pretty easy the highest rank you can go it's 999 so pretty simple Stamina, what you should go to events, unless some events are zero stamina. So, uh, the little coin over here, um, the little money that's where you use it to actually that's Zenny, so that you can actually use to do everything. So, Zenny's require for you to do pretty much everything, and the biggest and the most heartache. Uh, coin in the game or currency in the game dragon stones the most important one and also the big one right these are the coins that you get new characters there are the coins that uses you to skip ahead or get new things which is dumb ways of using it pretty much you only use for summoning right um, and this is what you buy with your real money so that you can get more characters and better things shit like that So this is where you buy Right, this is the the coin anyways um, Gira's guide is pretty good for um, Especially in the beginning I feel like uh, a couple of units that you get uh, you can get like um You can get like a couple of units that you can get and level um, super level attack so you can go here and farm them. So this is like good information. So for example, I can click here and I can go into one of these events and they gonna drop a character that can also help me uh, super attack level high up if I don't have Elder Kai's. Uh, awaken characters that I could awaken that I just didn't awaken and me being lazy I didn't do a lot of them um, But you can see a lot of them are like really weak characters that I just didn't had before and then got it um, And this is hidden potential uh, system like this is our free to play characters that you can get some of the stuff but all of them are or the keys or you need to get um, dupes and stuff like that. I gotta do this. Uh, but this is a great way for you to evolve your characters and stuff like that. Learning here. Um, 
Interesting. Anyways. These are a lot of them. Anyways. But it's kind of confusing because it's a lot of information and you may not know what you do. So if you don't want to use Giro's um, guide, which fair, you know, fair. Um, because when I started playing this game, we didn't have that. So I don't use it. I don't use it. Why? Because I always learn. I learned in the old way and I kept with the old ways. It can be good. It can be bad. But that's how it is. Um, then you click start and this is your um, menu. Uh, we have a couple of stuff here. A couple of missions um, that you can get special missions. This is returning because I didn't I wasn't playing this game much and I got to the returning. Anyways, um, this here is the menu. Here you can click, you can go everywhere. Um, I'm not gonna talk about the Bubba Shop now, for now. This is where you buy the Dragon Stones, right? And this is where you should use your Dragon Stones. Here. This is the summons. We are in the Worldwide Celebration, which is a big, big celebration where a lot of people come in right so if it is a big big celebration what happens people new people are coming in so um these two characters this center one is vegeto this one is merza maso the brand new characters uh lr's top tier amazing characters right honestly Zamasu is a little bit better but the team kind of sucks but vegeto whatever we not i'm not gonna get into it also, there are different types. Um, there is one more banner right now that you guys are not gonna see. The two hundred percent, the two hundred um, dragon stone ticket. Uh, that's the fifty multi here. Like, there's the free version, which is the tickets that you can get freely, and the friends points. Friend points are pretty much so that you can get. Um, these two characters that transforms into LRs. Um, these characters, to be honest, not great. The same thing goes for this Ercole here. Um, but they are a hundred percent free to play, so you just have to grind them. Uh, and um, the Zenis, the gold statues, is where you get the Zenis that you're gonna need it. So sometimes pulling here and getting some extra units so that you can level up your characters is actually pretty good uh the team where you're gonna have everything related to your characters and everything i'm gonna get into this but let's go back to the home you clicking start oh before there is the boost this boost is pretty important to understand um it normally is three boosts and take eight hours to load now it has five boosts and okay doesn't have how much time is it but i can use it one of them so that you can understand uh patent battle is pretty much a lot of a collection and you got a lot of missions it's not crazy stuff you got like training items and stuff which i have to do this more because when it, this was introduced i wasn't really playing so it's not really something that i like doing ultimate clash or what we call battlefield it's a really high advanced type so probably you don't have this lock uh locked unlocked so but in case if you have and you have no idea what the hell is this you just go in and you put in all of your units in here um You put all your units, and these are the only units that you can actually run. You cannot run anyone else except these units. Uh, also, if your units die, you need to re um, die. You cannot use them anymore, um, which is pretty good. Uh, which is a really interesting uh, different level of stuff. It's pretty hard. 
also you get a lot of uh interesting rewards you get these points that you're gonna use to exchange in the baba shop over here also you get um stickers which is uh interesting thing it also ender kais and also some dragon stones it gets some rewards which is are pretty interesting and stuff like that but now let's go there is dragon ball story where it tells all the story about like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball movies, DT, Dragon Ball Z. Um, and there is the guest docking story. This is stories from actual docking. Um, in there is normally known to be the best place that you can get uh, link levels. And I'm gonna get into that way later in the, in the video. Also, Portal of Memories is just uh, some events. Instead of being on the event, they are sometimes not on. So you can get them from Portal of Memories and you use some of the keys to use it. Keys are pretty rare, so only use keys on extreme cases like, oh, I need this character right now to be like a mission or something like that. Then you can do it or just wait for the event, the event to come back and then you get it. Um, also, so here is the story event. The story event is where you pretty much get a lot of free characters or free to play characters. There is a lot of free to play characters that you can grind in here. There are stones or, or there, there are awakening, awakening medals or the characters on itself. A lot of, uh, different things there's a lot of things that you can grind here orbs and stuff like that especially for them and a lot of a lot of characters like for example this character here becomes an lr so this is an lr that we have here and it's a pretty good interesting character um there's a lot of characters here that are pretty good um some of them don't really worked out well but mo a lot of the free characters that you can get is in here and why is it important to know that there's a lot of characters in here because sometimes you need a team like you have one or two units but you don't have a team you don't have enough units or your units really bad sometimes it's good to pull up some free to play characters especially in the beginning in the beginning of your account like do every single free to play character you can in order to build a team good enough to be able to run at least on challenge events which i'm gonna get to it like uh some of the challenges like the ch uh, the challenge events that um get you the awakening medal so that you can get your characters better these is the the challenge events that i'm gonna talk about it then these are events uh, that gives you a lot of different rewards. For example, hidden potential orbs, um, a lot of things like that. Um, also like Zenny, and also you can grind pen, which is an LR that you can get here. Um, it's really high stamina to get her right here, which is quite annoying, but you can get it um training items awakening medals you can get pretty much here this is a free to play character here this is a free to play character is a pretty good um it's really it this character is really really old back on when i started this was the first character that i grinded this is the first character that i did so probably right now it's not that the best idea just to do them uh, especially because they are quite not good so anyways um, now we're gonna go to the challenges um, I'm gonna skip a little bit to the back because these are the if, the same docking events that in the bottom but these are for the new characters uh, and then there's a bunch of really hard challenging events that I'm not gonna go and talk about it so also there is something you gotta understand it on docking 
is that there are five types. There's AGL, Agility, uh, Agility, Strength, Physic, um, Physic, um, Intelligent, um, and Technique. Why am I struggling to say their names? Because we call AGL, SGR, um, It's AGL. It's um, physical or physique, right? Uh, so we call AGL, SGR, phys uh, physical, int, and tech. So you have, uh, uh, for example, a unit like AGL Vegito, a uh, physical Vegito Blue, or I don't know. Like you can say it like that. So, um, um, LR SGR Gogeta Blue, or, um, I don't know, LR Int Nemic Goku. So, these terms is we are is calling a specific unit. So, Int LR Nemic Goku. What is it? It's Int character that is LR that is. A Goku that's from the Nemec Saga. That is the Goku that fights uh, Frieza in the Nemec Saga. That's a Super Saiyan Goku that fights um, Frieza. Why am I saying Nemec Goku and not just saying Goku? Because there's so many Gokus in this freaking game. We have to know what we're talking about. Shorten it out or like called out. So for example, if I call Burku. If you see someone say something write it down like bird cool is a specific or lr bird cool is a specific character that's a tech lr uh goku that is from if i'm not mistaken is the cooler movie uh there is he has a revive that shows up uh, a bird and he revives the bird bird with his key um that's why we call him Bird Cool because of the bird that shows up in the uh, river. Anyways, also, why am I saying all of the the different types? Is because in Dokkan, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, and Friday they have different days for each type. So right now we're on Friday, and Friday is physical. So. Each day is a different thing. If I'm not mistaken, I could be totally wrong. Uh, Monday is intelligent. Um, Tuesday is tech, I think. Then it's AGL, SGR, physical, or something like that. Or Monday is AGL. I think Monday is AGL. Whatever. There is a cycle. So when you look at and you see, like, for example, one way you can know is by this. For example, Ginyu Force uh, and Bardock uh, teams are free to play. It's a full free to play teams that you can get. Ginyu Force is actually now after their easy i I'm not gonna. And easy aim is another explanation that I'm gonna go a little bit later. Um, they are pretty good. And also. Team Bardock is kind of, eh, well, whatever. It's a free-to-play team. You can pull up an entire team by just these events. And right now, I know it's physical because these characters are physical. Uh, physical is the orange type. So, AGL is the blue type. Tech is the green type. Int is the purple type. Physical is the orange type. And SGR is the red type. Um... Okay, why does it matter? Because if a character is, for example, if you need to dock and awaken uh, a character that's an AGL character, there's a highly chance, uh, it's a hundred percent sure that 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 event will show up in the um on the dock events in here if it is on the AGL day now there are a lot of events that do show up they are not that sometimes they don't have the day uh, character in it 
forks. Why? Because they are inside of a certain uh, event. For example, right now we are on worldwide celebration. We're inside of the celebration. That celebration uh, in the banners we have a lot of units in here. We have, for example, Vegito. The, he needs his um, he needs his, his uh, awakening medals. Also, you can get awakening medals for Maya. Awakening medals for Worldwide oh, War Tournament Goku. All of these characters, all of their um, awakening medals are a hundred percent on until the celebration ended, and then it changes to the next celebration, and then change the characters. Whatever is in the banner, pretty much their events is 100% on it so that anybody can grind at any moment. So, that's something to let in mind. Now, 